I failed a lot more than most people. Seth Brown doesn't have a ton of big league experience, but life experience? I mean, I've been to dead ends of dead ends. He has plenty. When Brown was 19, he quit baseball, dropped out of school, and spent a year working at a gravel pit. My job was to weigh the trucks as they came in. They would come in, fill up with gravel. I'd write down what gravel they're getting. They'd come back out. And uh, so you spend time alone. You just, I had so much time to think. So Brown thought and realized who he was wasn't who he wanted to be. Three, two, out the gap. He figured he'd blown any shot at a pro career, but Brown returned to college and focused on becoming a better person. The moment I forgot about professional baseball and the moment I focused on my life, it was like these doors just opened up one after the other, all the way up to getting drafted. Today, you'll often find Brown talking with little league teams and school kids, sharing stories about bad decisions and bad influences. I always tell kids, figure out the difference between a giver and a taker and surround yourself with people who want to give to your life, who challenge you in life. Just before Christmas, he posted this, asking people to contact him if you or your family are having a tough time or have a need for a gift under the tree. Then Brown opened up a Zoom and talked with them. And I got a lot of messages kind of saying, hey, you know, my I've got a friend, she's She's in her 70s, or, or I've got a kid who's, who's 12 years old, never been to a game. This is what we as professional athletes in any sport are here for. Off the field and on the field, Seth Brown's last couple of years have been a home run. He is living his dreams in part because he refused to give up on them. I would say to anybody who watches, any kid watching this, doesn't matter what situation you're in, you can always keep moving forward.